Hello guys, my name is Val and welcome back to another video. In today's video I would like to show you how to play a game called Mind Reader. Uh, well, it's not exactly a game, it's a task that you use to reinforce a language point and in our case this would be a present continuous tense. But you can do it to uh, practice other language points if you like. I chose to do this one. Now, uh, to set it up, you can use flashcards or you can just have words written here. I draw pretty quickly in class, so I can do it like in a, in a minute. Uh, I can draw the stickmen. And um, this activity is designed in such a way that the students get to practice uh, the answers to this question. It could be what are you doing or what is he doing or what is she doing? Right, and um, It's pretty simple. You ask the question you point at the square and you elicit responses from your students For example, what is he doing? He is sleeping. What is he doing? He is playing basketball but here is Here's a catch. Uh, I think this activity is perfect if you want to build a report with your students. Because before you play it, you tell them, I can read your minds, hence the mind reader. I can read your minds and everybody's going to say, no, that's impossible. How can you read our minds? And I'm like, you, I can prove it to you. I can show you that I can read your minds and I'm going to show you. Now, look, for this activity, um, you will need help from your co-teacher or TA, uh, teaching assistant. Like, um, as far as I know, most of the teachers who teach, most of ESL teachers have a um, TA or a teaching assistant, or sometimes we call them co-teacher in the classroom. So you would need to uh, get his or her help. So uh, the idea here is that you are going to guess which square uh, your students chose. So you tell your students, look, before we practice, I'm going to walk away. And you also, you know, you can say like, um, you can invite one student to, uh, to come with you and you go outside and this student watches you so you don't eavesdrop you don't listen to what's happening in the classroom then your co-teacher your co-teacher chooses one square which i need to guess and obviously i don't know which square they're gonna choose so they pick one square here you know one action right and when they're ready you know they invite me to come back i come back and then we drill this we drill this. So a co-teacher, your co-teacher points at the, <clears throat> at the squares and asks the question, or I can ask the question. So for example, what are you doing? And then the whole class needs to enter, like I'm sleeping, I am jumping, I am sitting on the chair, or I am running, yes? So the co-teacher points, she asked the question or I asked the question, the whole class answers. So how do I guess which square they picked? Very simple. So before the class, you and your co-teacher agree that she helps you in class. How? So when, um, when it's the square the, uh, the students picked, she needs to point uh, at the corner. But if it's, you know, if it's not the square they picked, she or she or he needs to point at the middle of the square. <laughs> you get that? So, and then you watch when she points at the middle, it's not the square they picked. If she points somewhere um, uh, in the corner, that's the one that the class picked. And obviously she shouldn't or he shouldn't stop, you know, at the uh, square 
um, where she's speaking uh, at the corner because it's going to be too obvious. You need to maybe elicit four or five uh, different, you know, like responses from your students. And then when it's over, you can say, look, I'm going to look you in the eyes and then I'm going to guess which <laughs> square you picked. And then you guess, and of course you are right, and there go bananas, there go crazy, they're like, how, how, impossible, what is this? And I'm like, I can do it all day, we can go again. Because again, you want them to practice, right? And then, yeah, somebody, this, 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 this time they're so eager to catch you, like uh, how, or to, to understand how you're doing it, they said like maybe two students want to go with you outside to make sure that you are not watching and you say that's okay you can come with me and then again your co-teacher uh, and your students pick one square yeah let's so for example let's say they pick this one uh the 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 the, the running stick man and this is the one i need to guess <coughs> And when it's all ready, they invite me in. And this time, because it's the second run, maybe I change slightly the sentence. So instead of what are you doing, I can change it to what is he? <coughs> Excuse me, what is he doing? And then we start our drill, right? So what are you? So uh, the co-teacher is pointing, yeah? What are you doing? And they're saying, we, uh, uh, what, sorry, what is he doing? He is reading a newspaper. What is he doing? He is playing basketball. What is he doing? He is sitting on the chair. What is he doing? He is running. What is he doing? He is diving. What is he doing? He is sleeping. So I think you've noticed which square I pointed, which one is different because you know the secret, right? And I know it too. It's obvious for me. I can see which one is which. And then I surprise my students again. And <coughs> they feel so happy, so surprised, so overwhelmed. And I believe it builds this rapport, this connection uh, that you as a teacher want to have, you know, between you and your students or with your students. So um, I hope I explained it clearly enough, um, you know, uh, how you need to set it up and uh, you can try it in your classrooms. And then let me know how it went in the comment section below. Again, thank you very much for watching and all the best to you all. Thank you. Bye. And please remember to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let me know how this activity, how this game went in your classes. I will see you in the comment section below. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye.